I'm such a weirdo. But this video is just, it's giving me all the feels and I haven't even begun. What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. If you saw the video last week, 12 types of toxic, you know, I was trying to, thinking of, hoping to get around to do the positive side of it. And here we are today. I'm gonna share with you the 12 plus two, maybe three. So 15 types of people you need in your life as you journey through Life Legally Blind. Of course, this applies to anyone, but since I haven't done a Star Guards video in a minute, I thought I'd make one specific for the blind fam. If you're part of the Sight Squad, don't worry, you can still enjoy this video and get something out of use out of it. So let's jump right in. The first type of friend you need is a Jeff. I figure I just use my friends' names as examples as we go and explain why. Hopefully that works. So a Jeff in your life is someone that is open and real. Whether you're visually impaired or not, you need someone that's open and real and not only that, non-judging. It's one thing for someone to be open and real but judge you at the same time. If you watched last week's video, you know how that works out. But when you have a Jeff in your life, they're not the advisor type. They're not the type that's gonna tell you how to live your life. They'd rather see it from your side and maybe guide you along the way, or sometimes just be a good listener. Everyone needs a Jeff in their life, someone that's gonna be fun loving, open about things, and also real. The next person you need in your life is an Efi. Now Efi and I go way back. We met in university. I was 17, I had a bad attitude. I don't know how she dealt with me. But what Efi's really taught me about is patience. Not just with me, but the process. As we've both been working on our creative careers, she's just been someone that I can really discuss things about, the inner workings of the industry, the industry of YouTube and Instagram and what we're trying to build on our platforms. But deeper than that, life, we have a lot of things in common and a lot of things we don't have in common. And I think that's what makes our friendship beautiful. You need someone that's going to have the commonality, the similar values, and also the same fuel and fire to keep pursuing even when things get difficult. The third person you need in your life is a Faven. She is the epitome of an encourager. And you know, she has me thinking that I should probably do a family edition of this video because my family is my rocks. If you want to see that too, I'll do that as well. She's the type of person like, when you're going through your woes, when you're going through your high times, she's just gonna cheer you on from the sideline. It's someone that I can always go to and like a Jeff type person, she's non-judging. She's just gonna like, whoa. <laughs> a lot of times I tell her things and she's just like, whoa. You know she's not judging you. She's just trying to see what's best for you. And that's why I really love the friendship that we fostered. Over the last couple of years, I feel like we both helped each other grow. And you know, I think of friendship like a garden. That's why I always call it the friendship garden. You wanna have the people like plants in your life that are willing to grow with you. The fourth person is an Absol type person. He's someone, very few, that we go back. He's one of my oldest friends, and although we speak maybe monthly, if that, it just always feels like there's been no time that passed. You need that, especially if you're going through a degenerative disease, someone that's gonna be steadfast in who they are and kind of remind you of what life was like before you were diagnosed. I don't mean to put all of that on him, but that's what he represents to me. We've had great conversations and laughs over the last couple of years, and anytime I see him, I just, it feels like home. It's so weird to say, but he just reminds me of what true friendship is. It doesn't have to be an everyday thing. Sometimes it's not even an every month thing. Whenever we meet up or talk or he checks in or I check in, it's just that old friend vibe. You need an old friend. A good friend is someone who knows a song in your heart and sings it back to you when you've forgotten. That's what he is for me. The fifth person you need is a Candace. Candace is the epitome of grounded and grateful. You know, in a lot of videos, I mentioned GPP, gratitude, positivity, and presence. I think that's very similar to what Candace represents for me. She's someone whenever we have conversations and we have long chats, or when we finally get to meet up again when the Rona is over, it's just good vibes all around. She's someone that is so grounded in her faith and who she is that it just reminds me to do the same. You need, those, you need those friends that kind of mirror back to you what you might've forgotten or if you get caught up in the mix. Candace is someone that's gonna set you straight real quick. The sixth person you need is a Genevieve. Genevieve is someone who is authentic to the T. 
no matter what room she's in, what space she occupies, she's always going to be her. And it reminds me that I need to give the permission to myself wherever I go in the world, wherever I am, to be myself. People like Genevieve, they're just, you take it or leave it. And she doesn't care. She's just going to be who she is everywhere. And I really respect that. Is this the seventh person already? I've lost count. Roz is someone who's going to remind you to have standards. The reason why I put Roz on this list, not only because I've known her for a long time, is because anytime I talk to this girl, she's going to remind me of how I should see myself and see the world. This girl sets the bar high. She has standards and they're not wavering for anything, anyone, anywhere, anytime soon. And I love that about her. It reminds me that whenever I think I'm crazy for holding this expectation or this standard or wanting something out of life that I deserve, it reminds me that I need to see more than I'm seeing. She's also the type of person to be like, hey, have you heard about the Oculus? Or you heard about this? A couple of other people on the list are always checking in there in the mix of what Life Legally Blind is like. And it's always refreshing to know that they care enough to keep an eye out unintended the next person is a cora person you need a core in your life whether things are going well or going bad because there's someone who's going to believe in you when you don't even believe in yourself there's times where this girl has pulled me to the side and been like yo i know you're better than this you need to stop this ish or you need to give yourself more credit or you need to x y and z because this is what i see in you you don't see it in yourself when you feel like you're losing the way you feel like you're losing when you're losing vision there's no greater loss than limiting yourself even more she reminds me that i can't limit myself any further than my eye disease and in other areas of my life too the next person on the list is a nadine a nadine is someone who's just very vibrant anytime i chill with her Anytime I talk to her, anytime she sends me a voice note, she's got that energy that just lifts you. No matter where you are, what you're doing, you need a Nadine in your life because when things get rough, when things are going well, she's just got that bright energy that's gonna fire you up. The 10th, are we on 10 now or what? Boriana. You need a Boriana in your life because she's someone who's gonna see the bright side. She's very hopeful, very optimistic, and I... Although I call myself the princess of positivity, I ain't got nothing on this girl. She's always looking for the bright side. We've had some real heart to heart conversations and she's like, babe, don't even worry about it. Sometimes I don't even see it that way until she puts it that way and I'm like, hey, you're right about it. And it just makes everything lighter. Eleven is someone you've met before, but he hasn't been on my vlogs in a minute. It's Chris. He was on a couple of vlogs last year. So go back and check it out. Chris to me represents resourcefulness. He's someone that's always working on plan B to Z. He never stops. He's always thinking and innovating. And you need that type of energy around, especially when things get stale. I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for him during the pandemic last year because he always had that energy of what's next. He'd be like, do this with your channel or have you thought about this or go work in this field or apply to that. Like he's always thinking of the next best thing. And sometimes I feel like he's chasing, but it gives me the fire under my booty too to go chasing as well. The 12th person on the list is a Marcus. Now I don't have a best friend, but he's the closest to, and he just represents that i know i said the word already but he really is that refuge type person he's someone that you can really rely on we live in different time zones and he makes time the way i make time and there's that reciprocation to me he is what i think friendship is it's someone that's there for you that's non-judging you can have great conversations about anything you can talk about the mess there's been times i've been like marcus x y and z and he's like really it's been three years i'm like yeah and he's not saying oh you're bad or you're dumb or you're stupid or you should do this or x y and z he's literally a great listener with good advice we have good laughs you need someone that's gonna help you not not help life i don't know how to say it it's so hard to describe a Marcus type friend other than someone you can go to for everything. Lindsay's the type of friend that everyone needs and they don't know they need her until they know her. She's the type of person that's unapologetic. Wherever she goes, that's who she is. She's unwavering. She's very wise, very smart. It's really good, especially in a world full of frauds and fake people and people who do it for the gram, to have someone like her that just stays firm in her beliefs and who she is. It reminds me, as much as I do that as well, to do that even more. One thing I also love about Lindsay, especially during this life legally blind, is that she's just very stable. There's a lot of people who don't want to see 
the degenerative eye disease. And she's always been very conscious and aware of how it's deteriorated, not just visually, but emotionally and spiritually, and just been a really good guide along the way. One number we're on, but Natasha is another old friend. I think I met her just before I was diagnosed. I might've met her the year before I was diagnosed. So like Avzal and Jeff, she's someone who, like I said, can sing the song back when I've forgotten. What I love about Natasha is she sees the bright side, so she's an optimist, but she's also a realist. You need someone that's in the in-between, especially as you might lose hope because there's no cure for this eye disease. She's just gonna help you see that there's more to life. 14th, I think, and final person is one of my newer friends. She's an old soul, and I think we all need that old soul in our life. It's a Maria. Maria sets the example of compassion. She checks in on the weekly, and when she sends her voice note, she's like, I hope I'm not checking in too much. I'm like, no, girl, it's all good. It's definitely the compassion for me. She's someone that I can always talk to about the serious things in life, and I leave feeling better than I did before. There's sometimes you talk to someone, and yes, you feel lighter because you got it off your chest, but then there's another level of a person where you express yourself whatever woes it may be and they actually i don't know what kind of sorcery it is but they help you feel lighter and brighter than you did before maria is definitely that person so you need to get her as well as the other type of people or maybe one person that has all these capabilities and characteristics in your life we're gonna end i can't wait to hear from you let me know down below if you have friends like this or if there's any friend you'd like to add to the list if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like for more types of videos like this. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.